Here's how you use one layer to reveal another layer. First, we need some footage. I'm scaling this image down so you can see the lovely photo I took, and I'm scaling this image down so you know where to buy my book. Next, we need the revealing element, so here's a piece of stock footage from the 90s. I'm going to edit the clip so that the title card is not part of our shot, and then start it at the beginning of the comp. I'm going to scale this up, too, so that it completely fills the screen. Here's what it's like. Now I'm applying posterized time, which doesn't really do much for the explosion, but it's part of the example we're copying. This reduces the frame rate to the value we set. Now I'm applying key light to key the blue background. If you want to learn to be wonderful at key light, you need a different tutorial. I'm using the one click and hope method. Beautiful. Now the important part. Set the track mat of the layer you want to reveal to the alpha mat of our revealer. This means it only shows up where the upper layer shows up, and the see-through parts are see-through. If you want to make this a loop, select all the things and duplicate them. I move them all to the top to keep things organized, and then start this new batch where the old ones stopped. I'm extending my work area so the new stuff will be part of the playback, and here's the important part again, swap the layers and set the track mats like before. So now the old background is the foreground, and vice versa. Here's the finished product, and a great reminder to buy my book, which is a serialized spy comedy that has nothing to do with After Effects.